Rocket's Rules for Safety, Earthquakes. Hi, my name's Rocket. Today, I'm gonna shake things up a bit and show you how to use the emergency safety rules to stay safe during an earthquake. So how do earthquakes happen? Let's picture the Earth like a hard-boiled egg. The cracks in the shell are a lot like the Earth's surface, only we call the Earth's shell its crust, and we call the pieces plates. Those plates move around and under each other, carrying the continents and the ocean floor. Sometimes the plates stick together, and when they break loose, we feel the ground shake. That's how we get earthquakes. Personally, I'd have called them earth shakes. <laughs> now, most people don't like to get shaken up. In fact, those shakes can be dangerous. Fortunately, there's lots we can do before an earthquake happens to stay safe. Let's get prepared. First, go on a hazard hunt and find anything in your house that could fall if it shakes. That would be a hazard. Things that you wouldn't want landing on your head should be kept on a low shelf. And big things like TVs and bookshelves should be secured firmly to the wall. Next, look for a safe place to take cover in every room, like under a strong table. Keep in mind that doorways are not a safe place to be in an earthquake. Blanket forts aren't good enough either. Finally, make sure that your emergency safety kit contains shoes and a flashlight, along with everything else you might need in an emergency. Always keep your emergency safety kit secured to your bed so that it won't roll away in an earthquake. It's great to have another emergency safety kit in your car too. Now we're prepared, but what do we do if we're at home and an earthquake is actually happening? That's easy. Drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to a safe place and hold on. If you aren't near a table, get against a wall or away from anything that could fall. Get down, cover your head and neck, and hold on. Remember, only move to a table if it's safe and close enough to do so. If you're in bed, turn face down to protect your belly. Cover your head and neck with a pillow, and don't leave the bed. If you're in a wheelchair, lock your wheels so your chair can't roll around in the shaking. Get as small as you can and cover your head and neck with something strong, like a book. If you can't grab a book, keep covering your head and neck with your arms and hands. Now, how about if an earthquake happens when you're outside? In that case, stay away from buildings, windows, trees, telephone poles, or anything that could fall on you. Get on the ground and cover your head and neck. If you're in the car, remind your parents to stop at the side of the road. Stay in the car until the shaking stops. Lastly, if you're at school when an earthquake happens, follow your school's earthquake plan. Many schools have earthquake drills to practice what to do when an earthquake happens. If you're not sure about your school's earthquake plan, ask your teacher to explain it to you. Now, when the shaking is over, that doesn't mean that the earthquakes are over. There can still be aftershocks, which are smaller earthquakes. Again, stay away from anything that could fall and be ready to drop, cover, and hold on. Don't go looking for people or pets until you're sure the shaking has stopped. Pets can take care of themselves. If anyone is hurt or needs help, ask an adult to call 911. Phew, that's a lot to remember. But that's why it's important to be prepared. Let's do a super fast review. Before an earthquake happens, go on a hazard hunt. Secure any loose things in your house that could fall. Find a safe place in every room to take cover and have an emergency safety kit attached to your bed. Your kit should have shoes, a flashlight, and everything else you might need in an emergency. If the ground starts shaking, no matter where you are, drop, cover, and hold on. Get as small as you can and protect your head and neck. When the earthquake is over, be careful of aftershocks and call for help if anyone needs help. Phew! Earthquakes are definitely my least favorite kind of rock and roll. That's why I want you to practice the emergency safety rules and know just what to do to stay safe. 
I'll see you guys later. Bye bye Guess what time it is. It's time to earn your spots. You can earn your spots by going on a hazard hunt. Look around your house with your parents and secure any items that could fall on you. And remember to practice how to drop, cover, and hold on. Stay safe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.